Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Terrible Division tournament. This is me and Jack um, playing on the Russian side, left side. Um, we got Fantix here, and we also got a um, long name. I'm not going to be able to say that. So, me and Jack are running 184th Prokovi. Which I can't say it, you know. I don't know how to pronounce these words, guys. I'm sorry. Me playing Bazoogaloo with Vanguard. We got Fantix playing Lovos. Um, and we got Tartalek being played by the long name yep anyway this is the second round of the best set of five me and jack won the first round and yep this is where we go jack's deployed in the southern flank as you can tell he's down here deploying kind of kind of light trying to push him a little bit up here we got me pushing in the north pretty standard i'm trying to grab these two flags i'm opening up with tons of t-34s some tensaniki and Shroki. A T gun and a lot of flamethrowers. Um, my objective, I mean Jack's objective, was we're gonna push for these two flags here. We're gonna push for these two flags up there. We're gonna play defensive on the southern flank, and then I don't know what the plan is from the other team because I, you know, they're the opposition. Jack here is gonna support me on defending this flag. I'm gonna invest in two AA right off the bat, both being the S uh, ZSUs and 15s, being that they're playing air spam decks. They have a lot of aircraft, and they're going to have to rely on those aircraft to be effective. So I wanted to bring out two AA to knock that stuff out. I thought, hey, if they bring out a cluster or something like that, you know, killing one or two aircraft right off the bat would pay for these two aircraft. Uh, sorry, two AA pieces. Anyway, so flamethrowers moving three of them up here, three down here. Um, uh, some some infantry to push up, some tanks and Niki, some tanks, four tanks moving this, uh, on the very northern flag, two tanks moving here. I wish I had some MGs, because we put down an MG42 right here, guys. Right here on this house. You can kind of look down this road, which is pretty nice. Fortunately, don't have MG42s. Um, yep, so let's take this thing off. Um, let me click on, let's hide the panel. Uh, I guess we're just going to get rid of that. <laughs> there we go. Jack opening up standard. Smoke for him. Going to cut off that main road. Really smart play, so he doesn't have to get shot by any of these, like, IG guns or turrets or such on. So, trying to get some flamethrowers, looks like, with the leader. Lots of things coming down this main road. Bazookas, flamethrowers, pack guns, a lot of armored cars. Two of them right off the bat, 30 points each. IG guns, some more packs. Another armored car. The pack gun. What is that pack gun? I don't know. Maybe an AT slash. Artillery piece. Luckily, oh, we got two MG42s. This is brutal. Put the MG42s here. Pretty much locked down this area. My infantry is slow. He's gonna get my shots on me right off the bat. I don't. My my car's a little too slow. I was about to unload it, but didn't get in time. More infantry getting stuck. I got totally lose another infantry squad. I unload in a panic. I wasn't sure what was going on. It's too late. He totally has this area locked down. Look how many forces are here. Here, just an absurd amount. And I'm really smart. Pretty much locking down this area. It looks like Fantix is guarding um, this point too. So it looks like a similar idea. Jack was guarding this area, so Fantix is guarding this area. And then me and him are just going to battle it out here. Fortunately, I'm getting wrecked at the moment. Flamethrower is getting destroyed by his SBWs. Pack guns getting some nice shots on my Panzer fours. Only progress I'm making is in the southern flank. I'm doing okay in. Tanks are moving up though. Nothing here. Probably should play a little more aggressive. They're just like absolutely getting shrekt in this area. I have this one T34 pretty much holding back this whole area with the 150 cal. It isn't great. 50 cal's about to go down another SPW. IG gun is doing work though. Jack's playing pretty aggressive here on the southern flank. But in general right now, like my stat, my attack has been totally destroyed. I'm bringing up some tanks though to help support the pushing. Try to take out these MG42s and armored cars. Jack's bringing in ISC-122. I asked him to like put it in this location, looking down this main road right here. It's a really good spot. Looks down this main entrance. Gonna lock it off. Should have played a little more aggressive though, but I knew he had a lot of pack 36s. That's the issue, right? He's got tons of them. They're only uh, 30 points. They got only 65 penetration, but they do have the heat rounds, which they're at 8 meter, 800 meter, uh, millimeter, uh, 800 range, which you know they're in range, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, well, yeah. So it looks like I'm controlling this area up north, and he's controlling center. So, not great so far. Fighting's come down, a slow down a little bit. 
taking a spam of it. This is such a good thing about Correct. They just have so much stuff. <laughs> We're also seeing Phazon uh, kind of reinforce here with some tanks and such. Seeing some of the first aircraft coming out. The 20 point, uh, you know, recon. Nothing much. Pretty stalemate here. Looks like Jack playing a pretty aggressive. Actually surprised that Jack's actually investing so much here. In the first cluster here. This is kind of why I invested in this early AA. Just shift this AA a little bit over to the side. I immediately panic. I'm like, alright, I gotta spam these tanks out. I lose one to a heat round. I miss micro. I got this guy out of the way though. And this is where I was disappointed. Look at this thing. I'm doing nothing to that. A87, the micro's not even really well. D5 comes in. So, that's pretty bad, okay? So I already lose one of my 90 point AA pieces right there to that D5. D5s are also really scary fighters. I kill nothing, lose T34. That's pretty devastating right off the bat against my, gets me and Jack. I'm really disappointed. Next time, learning from this, you gotta keep these at least together. Cause they need to, you know, they're not, you're not gonna kill anything by themselves. 90 points to doing nothing. I didn't even shoot down anything. And then just dies with D5. Jack's pushing pretty hard though. But not really making any progress on any flags. Doesn't really have the armor right now to push up and solidify anything. Karana's gonna move in here and mess up Jack. Moving in some more stuff. I'm bringing up my first Tiger. I'm bringing up some IG guns. Up support looking down this main road. T-34 is opening up on the uh... Karen should win the engagement, hopefully. Maybe it won't let me down. Come on, T-34s. Um, Yeah, there it goes. Goes down. Looks like I'm marking. I asked Jack here. Yeah, let's put this right here. Looking down this main road. We're seeing a lot of tanks come down this main road. This is probably a good position. Moving up an AT gun to help support me. Not too much. I have some Tetsuniki in reserve. Ready to push when I can. But yeah, we're seeing a lot of... We're seeing a mix of players between Fantix and... Um, long name here. Yeah, Fantix just giving a couple of units every once in a while. I think Jack also starts spreading some more units in. But um, down here in the south... Jack trying to make some progress here. But like, just looking at the resources he has over here, I don't think he's going to be able to push. I think Jack now rushing out some flamethrowers. So he can get into this position. Those you know, there's a million IG guns. Any T guns. Looking at him. I'm starting to move up my Tensaniki. Got a bazooka in a good spot right here. I was not aware of this. This will catch one of my tanks off guard. I believe I killed a T-34. I was not ready for that. the uh, IS-122 do some work here. Taking out a Tehran right off the bat. Tiger tank looking down this main road. Stopping a lot of the recon moving up. That's Niki. Getting to lose one of them right now to Bazooka. Oh my god, look at that. This AT gun fires a side shot. Goes behind cover. Still gets taken out. Bazooka takes out the other unit. That's 60 points to Tensaniki down. That's pretty bad. 10 point half track and 20 points. I think Jack respond with an AT uh, going out for the, uh, the pack gun. 50 points. Get the kill. Doesn't even get the kill. Jack now flying over. Getting on a head on. 105 point aircraft. Doesn't even get a kill. Jack's flying deep into enemy territory. A fuck with FH coming back around. Jack's gonna do their smart thing here. I think he's gonna turn into it. Yeah, he's gonna go on to a head on with it. For some reason we cannot see the command orders. There we go, whatever. Don't go on a head on with IG gun though. The T5's coming in. I don't know if it's that fast. Oh, another Falk Wolf comes out though. That's going to be the end of the aisle too. Will it be? Uh, yeah, there goes aisle two. See, aisle two gets nothing. We're down 105 points on that engagement. Very unfortunate. Not too much action in the south. You can definitely see there's a big uh, force disparity between Jack. I mean, Jack's pushing out in the open right here though. I'm bringing some IG guns to support him. Take out all these AT guns. T5's coming in. D5s are the best. It's kind of interesting the D5s going in for the uh, pack here. It is crew killed. There we go. Killing an IG gun. D5s moving over. I do have a flat gun. Flockwolf going in. Yeah, I need two of them. Like, two of them would have been instantly pretty much suppressed. Oh, 
we're seeing any action now. Not, not too much micro on his aircraft. It's kind of a back and forth here. Not much happening. Trying to get into him. Getting some more flat guns for both Jack and me. I have some of my own flat guns moving up. Target tank still holding that main road. Keeping in some infantry. Get unloaded though, unfortunately. IG guns are making their way up. I'm gonna help push in the open with Jack. Seeing a D5 coming in again, going for the IG guns. 30 point kills. The uh, D5 is only 80 points. It's another free kill. I'm bringing out the more expensive one, the 40.1. Flat guns opening up on him. So far, the airplay has been really strong with them. They've taken out some aircraft of us. They've taken out some AA. Jack, though, totally collapsing, though, on the center position right here. He's got no resources, and we're seeing a pretty good overlay of uh, troops. So it looks like they're playing on top of each other. Actually, I'd like to pause just for a second here, guys, just to see where everybody is. Let's pause. So we see Fantix. Yeah, he sent a lot of tanks up here earlier, but it looks like a lot of his forces have been cleaned up. He's seeing a lot of airplay by him. Looks like he's holding the center. But yeah, we're seeing a good, good overlay between the both of them. Uh, go to the other guy. Get a more clean picture. Yeah. So that's interesting to note. Me and Jack, though, unlike normal, are playing over each other. Jack holding this area, I'm pushing here. Supporting him here, so. Jack with a few units on my side as well. Back to neutral, though. Look at the map, though. Most of our forces are concentrated up north. Looks like Jack is pushing up some more resources to stem the push. Um, but yeah. I think maybe our mistake was, right, is that we are pushing a little too much here in the early game. Kind of enticing them to play more aggressive on two fronts. And kind of taking away the resources where we want to fight, which is in the open. We have the big tanks with the big AA guns. And we kind of want to fight a concentrated fight where our AA can do okay. Instead, now we're fighting between two fronts. AA has to split up between both fronts. And it's just not great. It's kind of the, the bonus of being air dominant, where you can kind of pick and choose where to push. And the player will respond with AA, but then you can push in a different, different direction. And that AA can't really, you know, move <laughs> unless it's mobile. Like these heavy flat guns cannot. Starting to make some progress here. Put up some mortars. And this is where we're going to see some um, big plays by Antix and his partner in a second. They do an absolutely amazing job. <laughs> like you'll see in a second. They're just going to call out a million aircraft. And right now, you know, we got some flat guns. We got, we got some what's one vet. 37 mils. We got a uh, SE-15. You know, M15. Got a heavy flat gun here. So you know, it's not you know you can't just hang out and fly around here, and it's not very safe. Tiger engaging the Tehran for some reason. Kind of a interesting engagement. Uh, not going to do much. We're seeing an 88 come out from um, the long name. I'm just gonna kill and bring up some of my own recon tanks to help push that area. But just the sheer number of infantry they have. The Shuma, 10 point units, so crazy cheap. Looks like Jackson pushed through here pretty hard. Pretty thin on this objective, too. We're gonna see these infantry kind of roll over these guys, I'm guessing, in a second. Actually, maybe they're playing more defensive role, but there's nothing much down here. We're getting side shot, too, by these Turrens over here. So, Jack taking some heat here. Not going up this area a little bit. We're pretty close to grabbing this flag. I'll say there's a lot of pressure here. We're starting to make some progress. Getting pretty close taking these flags here. We're starting to get into the forest. Starting to make some movement. Getting some more infantry. I'm bringing off my first off map. Okay, guys. This is where it begins. I remember this. I brought my off map in. I'm like, uh, you know, things are going our way. I feel like we're starting to make some headway. And we're down a flag at the moment. Jack was pretty confident he's gonna get this flag back. He was telling me I wasn't looking so hard down here because I was focused on my objective. I thought I was about to take this flag. I definitely thought I was about to get this flag as well. And then I thought maybe we're gonna go in the, down here and pretty easy we're gonna grab these as well. But this is when it comes out, guys. The air spam. 
let's just I just want to pause for a second. How many aircrafts that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen aircraft. And I think more will come in as as we go. Um and this is where me and Jack definitely let them build up too much. This is a multiplayer aircraft play coming at me right now. I definitely do not have enough resources. These are twenty points, so that's not too much to talk about. Those are pretty cheap. These Falka Wolves 115, the D5 are really cost efficient, they're 80, he's got four of them already. And the problem is with this air spam, right, is you cannot send out fighters. There's no way. Those four D5s will shoot down all of your fighters. They can turn super well, and they can go on and head on with anybody. And the best fighter you have will kill the, the D5, you know, like your Falka Wolves or your, you know, your Mustangs and such on. But the thing is, you're going to go down too, and their aircraft's for 80 points, and their yours is 120 plus. So that's the problem. Then he's got the clusters coming in. He's got the Falka Wolves, who also have pretty good cannons. They have 20 millimeters, so they'll do some really good ground strafing. Anyway, let's continue. This is not good. I was so concerned right here. I was like telling Jack, oh my god, he's going to go straight for the AA. And he's being smart here. He's going for the AA. This is what he should be doing. Go for the D5s. Be going for the AA. I'm trying to move up. I'm trying to go for the D5s. I just realized I got to stop the D5s from strafing my AA or I'm done. We're seeing even more D5s come in. Two more. We have the same amounts. They could be another Falka Wolf coming in. The recon are flying over. It's a cluster on my Tiger tank. Fortunately, I did suppress it enough because I aimed at it to stop the Tiger from dying. Comes in on me. I dropped one off map on this objective. But he sees now everything. Everything's exposed. He's killing my AA. My AA's trying to open fire. T5s go in for the kill. Kill another. I have one AA piece left. He's got total visual in my entire location. Fighters are just flying over. Jack's AA is the only thing kind of fighting. But, you know, for the most part, there's nothing left on my side. He's turning around to rotate to do another strafe. He's going to go for my off map. It's an expensive buy, 120 points. I drop another shot, though, of it before I go down. I knew he was going to go for me. I got two out of the three, you know, drops, so that's okay, I guess. I'm going to drop a long duration. But that's not a bad move, I thought, in my, <laughs> in my head. Gonna come back around though, go for the mortars, really good. These are 60 points each, it's 120 points going down when he comes back around. Probably should take out this AA piece though. And he comes in, and they're gone. And just like that. Bam, that is brutal. I take this flag though. So in the meantime, you know, I'm like, I'm just like, oh, come on. While we're doing this though, their, their micro isn't that good. I'm starting to push here, Jack's starting to push here. We're, we're down here, and we're making progress. We're, we're almost double ticking. I'm about to grab this flag, giving us a double tick. So, I'm going to be frank right now. Like, the issue is that we take the flags, right? But they were microing there, so not really spawning things. They killed a lot of resources there. A lot. And we're going to have to invest in A now to even survive. So, these flags, we can give up for now. It's okay. Unfortunately, if we had these two flags, I think the game would have been over if we had these two flags. But... Good playing by Fantex here. He's pushing really hard against Jack. And he's taking these two flags. And that's, you know, we'd be up even further. And our double tick keeps going in and out because of that. But, game's not over though. We're pushing really hard though. And we still, you know, we're doing okay. We're taking them down. We've been taking them down more than they've been taking us whatsoever. They're starting to lose a lot of units throughout the whole line. Tiger moving up here. I'm trying to get in. I want to secure. I should probably back it up though and put it back here again. A little risky being where it is. Unfortunately, this pack kills one of my P-34s with the heat round. Thing is so good. Seeing some aircraft keep flying in and out. That's the problem, right? We make offensive pushes. Maybe get a little bit out of our air range. They just drop bombs on us. P-5s are flying about. Jack's got almost zero AA on his left flank. I'm oh, sorry, his southern flank. Jack takes back both the flags, though. Which is really good here. He's making progress. Starting to roll him back a little bit. Buckle is coming in, though. They're just going to periodically bomb them. Make them trade pretty horrendously. Not looking good. On the southern flank. Northern flank's a little better, though. Made some decent progress. I'm all up in here. Jack's up in here. So we're doing pretty well in this area. On this... AT's gonna up and fire on that low boss unit. Can I get a kill? Gets one kill. Can I get the other? Let's see it. Uh, there you go. Three. That's a pretty good. That's pretty awesome right there. Getting those kills. 
Tiger's just doing work in the open, keeping this side pressed. I have some of my M10s just unloading. Buying here's an open. Probably should send some more infantry to support. Right now, I'm, I'm dedicated to buying some heavy AA to help support. Keep that. Cannot afford to have another air spam do that to us. There's no way we can do it. Jack Doe's just getting harassed now, right? This is what's so problematic. Jack can keep pushing aggressively, getting in there. I sent him some T-34s here, but they just get clustered. Now oh, looking away for a second there, he's lose both those. This is this is uh, kind of showing the power of airplay here. Totally air spamming on these two decks. I mean, the first game when we played with them too, they kind of tried to do air spam, but I think we just played a little better there. We played better ground game. And uh, we played super aggressive on both fronts. And they couldn't really uh, afford to build up the big air spam they wanted to. But this game, man, they're just executing it perfectly. Fortunately, a game shifts back pretty quickly here. They've taken back a lot of the flags in the open. So, not great. You have the flag here in this town, though. But uh, Jack's down two down here. Jack, though, has an overwhelming force here. But he can't he can't keep really pushing up because he's just losing all his all of his stuff. Seeing the cluster come in. There's nothing... Nothing really counter it. Boom. Valentine goes down. Those those clusters must have paid for themselves a couple times over. There's almost a breakthrough in the center here. Doing alright though in the north. Like you look at the north, the forces aren't that different. And the 88s are up. Or not, they're not 88s. They're 85. The 85s are up now. We're bringing up another one here. Now I can start investing more into resources to fight on the ground. Being that I shouldn't be messed up by air again a bomber come in carrying 254 of the 250 kilogram bombs gonna be dropped buckle of comes in these things are amazing 100 points though two chief got jack brings in one of his uh flat guns bombs coming in they're away luckily it doesn't kill anything i think that was kind of a waste of a bomb there probably want to bomb things you can see yeah, Jack getting hit pretty hard here. Pure moving up, trying to get back. They've gotten back into this flag. I brought up another 88. I'm like, I ain't letting this stuff end here. I'm getting in this area. Got troops behind the line a little bit. Holding out. I thought, hey, maybe we can outsustain them. You know, it's going to be hard to outsustain Lovas or Correct, though. They got Frank, like, oh, I keep saying that word, Frank. But, like, they just have so much stuff. They don't run out of stuff. Look at all these walls of 88s. <laughs> or not 88s, 85s. There's no more aircraft gonna fly over. Jack has out no ammo though in this one. I'm gonna bring him an ammo truck right now. Bring up my second Tiger tank. Try to help push in the open. I'm gonna get back these two flags. Shoot down the D5 though. So we're making. Oh, there we go. We, made, we shot down one aircraft. But it really does not make up for all the stuff we've been losing though. Two of those aircraft. Seeing more flak come out from Jack here. Another 37 mil. Buckle's going in for a bombing run. It's another clean kill. Damage is the Valentine. D5 didn't drop his bombs. Buckle of strafing. Cluster coming in. Be going for. Valentine. Valentine to 50 points. Yep, Valentine survives. You suppress these things, they don't do that much damage. Oh, wow, the D5 bombs decided to go around every single, <laughs> every part of the tank, but not hit the tank itself. Somehow this unit is holding this flag. Lockwood's just doing straight up T5s coming in, going in for a bombing run. Don't think he needs to bomb this. He's about to die anyway to his little boss troops. One flat gun is not making a cut. He's had one more. Oh, falls back though. This heavy AA gun over here does the job. D5 coming in once again. Where's he bombing? Is he gonna get a target? It's nothing. Yeah, let's go back to looking up the other side of the map. I make some progress. Take it back to the flag here. Unfortunately, this IG gun, I don't know what's happening, but this thing is beast. It doesn't die. It just destroys my heavy eight. <laughs> I just thought this Zisk gun would be okay as an assault gun and take out the IG guns. 
Oh, uh, was I wrong? And I learned from that I'll never rely on a Zisk gun versus an IG gun. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. If I lose one of my heavy AA guns, which I definitely don't... Definitely cannot be losing at this point. 11, 13, so it's still pretty even, but you can tell, like, we've watched a lot of heavy stuff be killed on our side. Buckles are just chewing up Jack. Yeah, he's just getting thrashed there. Center's kind of collapsed, and Tiger Tank's helping out. I'm bringing up some of these SC-76s. They're pretty good. They have HE, and they have assault guns status, so they're able to do some work. And they also have some really good penetration, and they're cheap. Only 35 points. But we're doing okay. I mean, we're almost got this flag. We almost got that flag. If Jack can just grab his two flags, but we're back in it again. I don't know how this unit is still holding this flag. <laughs> He's taking so much firepower and it still has not died. It needs to die. Crazy. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Fast forward. Uh, actually, we don't need fast forward. Buckle is just coming in. Oh my god, the, the bombing grade. We're seeing a big air push, it looks like. When you see the recon, you know the airspam's coming, D5's coming out. So many aircraft. Oh my god, the D5s are such beasts. <laughs> I love them, they're the best fighter. Somehow, we don't have this flag is not ours, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> D5s are gonna wreck whatever we have. They'd probably go for the flat guns, what I would be doing. Kill the flak and then you can uh, deal the rest of it. There you go. Bam. All right, gets a strafe. Now it's suppressed. Now he can have the rest of the D5 just keep flying in and out. All his AA is suppressed. He brings up another AA though. He's got another one coming up over here. This one's on return fire. He's probably just, yeah, I mean at that point they're already dead. The ones have been spotted. D5's coming in though. Oh, bombing run's coming on too. Bam, it's dead. Seen the Zisk guns. Get suppressed though. Now it's just there's nothing left now. Like he can't bring up any of his really heavy equipment or heavy AT or IG guns. He's just gonna get strafed. Another AA goes down. He's got two of them hiding. Can't bring them out right now. Or they're just gonna die. But now he's got full full authority in this region of the map. I'm seeing a uh, E5 come in and get the Valentine. Right on target. No tanks now left on the southern flank. You see me and Jack come in with some fighters. I'm gonna go for a D5. Jack trying to get the recons. I'm gonna try to rotate out. Uh, but the flock will immediately gets in your back. That's what happens when you go into the swarm, I call it. Once you go into the beehive, it is over. The D5, you're all turned together. There's, you're gonna go into the line of sight of one of them, and they just need a line of sight for a second, and you're gone. Because the D5s have all these cannons on them. They have two 20 mils, another two 20 mils, and they got some pretty big rounds already. Destroy you. You get spotted already. AA guns. They're just gonna go in for a strafe. D5 almost killing that on one pass. They're already gonna come back around and get it. <laughs> so Jack's got zero AA down the southern flank. He's pretty much capitulating completely. In the north, it's a little bit different. I've taken back this flag, but lost this. Got around the open, or at least I am right now. Jack doesn't really have any forces left on the side of the map. I can tell I can't find any one of his units left. It's just pretty much me. But you know, I have I haven't like most of my A's are in bot and it's in this compact area trying to hold back, but I don't think it's enough to hold this if he reloads it all. E5 is just gonna have free reign now. You can just keep coming in and out non-stop bombing infantry, bombing hard targets, get stuck on something, you can just bomb it out, and that that's having that advantage is crazy. Because you're gonna be trading so efficiently. Bombs coming in on him. Gonna suppress. Oh, doesn't even suppress. It just deletes them. <laughs> Not good. Trying to push here. It looks like Fantex is calling out. He's like, "Hey, I need some support here." I don't know how that doesn't kill the Shupo squad. Shupo, too good. Let me call out some infantry. I want to grab this this flag here at least. Secure this flag. Buckle of coming in on Jack's last couple of units. Jack getting out of the way. Just getting suppressed. Luckily. A little bit of a. You know, line here, but not too much. Enough for me to push. There's one Jack Seen here. <laughs> Bring up a little more flak. <laughs> I saw what happened in the south. 
they did one in the north and now they did one in the south but the south's gone like we were able to like kind of recover and build up some a and keep up some, the pressure and get some get some flags but you know there's nothing down here left seeing that 85 millimeter move up ah it's firing at this terrible squad i'm not going to pronounce that word what is that i don't know i cannot say that word I just know it ends with Iki or something like that. <laughs> Strokey, I think that's how you see these guys. Looks like uh, we're seeing some SS Shupo here getting ready to do something. Lots of pressure being applied down here. I find a couple more mortars. They're probably just going to get bombed. Send some more infantry to take this and get support down here. I put my uh, flat gun and I'm trying to look down this main road. Super engaging. All right, so <laughs> Jack surrendered. Jack had to go. <laughs> he had to go. He just we didn't have he didn't have enough time. It was just a really early game, guys. But Jack had to go there. I decide, you know what? I'm gonna keep fighting it out because Jack had to go for uh, real life things. You know, we all understand. And the game, you know, from his perspective was uh, maybe over. So I'm gonna keep fighting it out a little longer. But at this point, I, I thought it was over. I just wanted to kind of see if how much pressure I can kind of push for, you know, we'll see what's going on. We'll fast forward a little bit. Aircraft just going to keep flying in and out. I can't really do much. At least my flat guns aren't even shooting anything down. Dropping an off map on me. The air spam is going to come out. We'll slow down for a second, I guess. I'm checking out some of the aircraft, like one or two. But <laughs> it's not going to do much. I get one T5 there, but once he starts strafing, I get suppressed, and then I'm not firing. Black gun goes down. Another one coming in. Another flat gun suppressed. Buckle is going in. I try to get a D5. Sorry, my Yak 9B doesn't get the kill for some reason. But flat gun finishes it out. Yak B. Yak 1B gets destroyed by Fuckwolf. Yaks are really fragile, by the way. E5 comes in, suppresses the one of my other 88s. Luckily, guy, I stopped that one from getting me. But I don't really have any AA. Coming in another strafe. Oh, doing a lot of damage there, but not killing. Fuckwolves <laughs> just keep coming in on me. Kind of stemmed the tide. Didn't do as much damage as it could have. But it did the job. Killed the tiger tank. Buster. Killed most of my AA. So if you did that one more time, it's over. Yak 9B coming in. Yak 1B, sorry. Another kill. Buckleless are going to probably turn about. We we'll go for another one. Get these recon planes out of here. I turn into them to try to get out of the way. want to get this last recon plane. Fortunately, I take an 88 shot. Automatically makes me fall back. Trying to shoot my flat gun, it won't. There's not much time left. It's gonna drop its bomb load. Gets the kill. Heavy AA guns down. This flat gun's almost dead as well. There's just these two things firing. He's gonna fall back to blast his aircraft. But we can see the writing on the wall. Jack over here, the AI now, is just getting shredded. So, this is the end of the game. Yeah, he just, they did, they played better. Clutch is coming in here. He's gonna get everybody. I moved him out of the way just to lose one. One per one, but that's it. And yeah, there's nothing much left. He's got the open. The center's collapsed. I just have enough forces to defend. That's it. Yeah, that's over. Um, anyway. <laughs> good playing, guys, uh, to our opponents. Um, well, good luck to your, your, your next matches against us. So hopefully, it'll, it'll be good ones as well. Um,. Anyway, guys, leave a like, leave a comment. It was a good game, and um, I'll see you guys around, and uh, stay tuned.